Have you ever seen these batteries? If you ever get a chance to look inside them, you must have noticed that these are filled with chemicals. These batteries get charged with electricity and get discharged while producing electricity. As we already know, these batteries are filled with chemicals. So there must be some relation between chemicals and electricity. And today, we are going to verify this with some activities. But first, recall how we judge the occurrence of a chemical reaction. We can verify a chemical reaction if any new substance is formed, heat, light or any other radiation, ultraviolet for example, may be given off or absorbed, a sound may be produced, a change in smell may take place or a new smell may be given off, color change may take place, a gas may be formed. In order to test the occurrence of a chemical reaction, let's perform an experiment. These are the components that we need for our experiment. Take a beaker filled with water, a battery attached with wires. We need two carbon rods. You can get these rods in old pencils. And we need to attach two metal clips around them. Put some salt in the water to make it a good conductor. Now, connect the carbon rod to the battery with the help of wires. Put these carbon rods inside the water. We will use the stand to keep the whole setup straight. The moment we put the rod inside the salt solution, electricity starts flowing through the solution. Observe the solution closely. You can see that bubbles are formed around one rod, which means that there must be some chemical change because of the conduction of electricity through the salt water solution. Now let's see what it actually happens. When electricity is passed through the salt solution, the salt particles or NaCl present in the solution breaks into positive Na and negative Cl because of electricity. And this Cl minus flows towards the carbon rod which is connected to the positive end of the battery. This rod is also called the anode. Na plus flows towards the rod connected to the negative side and this rod is called the cathode. The Cl minus gets accumulated near the anode. One Cl minus combines with another Cl minus to form Cl2 or chlorine gas. This is the chlorine gas bubble which we saw near the anode. And on the cathode side, Na plus starts accumulating on the carbon rod. Thus, we can say that chemical effects can be caused by an electric current. You can try other experiments as well. For example, take a potato instead of a salt solution. Attach two carbon rods inside it and connect it to a battery. After some time, you will observe a greenish blue spot near the anode, the rod which is attached to the positive side of the battery. Because the color of the potato is changing, we can say that some chemical reaction must be happening here. Try this activity on your own and verify the result. That is all for today. Let's recap whatever we have learned today. First, we learned to detect any chemical reaction with the help of the observations listed here. Then we saw that a chemical reaction can be caused because of electricity. And we saw two activities to support the fact. We observed that chlorine gas bubbles are formed when we pass electricity through a salt water solution. Then we observed a color change in a potato near the anode. I hope you have enjoyed seeing these experiments. Try them by yourself. I'll see you soon with more interesting things. Until then, keep exploring.